so I pretty much heard everything that everybody said, and you all did a really good job. There was a, you know, every once in a while there was like, oh, I don't want to do that. But you did a really good job of, you know, nobody had to leave the room and cry, or, you know, and it felt, the energy felt. Usually I have to stop everybody. I'm like, hello, have you breathed in the last 20 minutes? But you all did, it was amazing. And it's a good experience because then now you know what it's like when you're in your kitchen and you're in a hurry and you don't have all the ingredients and maybe you're not feeding 30 people, but, you know, if you can pull that off in that silly little room that we have that doesn't have enough knives and doesn't have everything and it's the layout is funny, you can do it anywhere. And if you have a real kitchen at your house, you have no excuses. Okay? You, you, are, you have everything at your fingertips because if you can pull it off there, you can pull it off anywhere, whether you're camping, or you're on an airplane, or you're in your own particular kitchen. Yeah? Yep. Okay. So, what we're going to do is, I'm going to give you an opportunity if there's anything that you want to share. This isn't so everybody wanders around the room and says thank you to me. I mean, I appreciate that, and, I, and you know, so, you know, bring it on. But, it's also just if there's anything else you want to share with the group. Okay, so for some of you, Today will be today or tomorrow morning will be the last time that you're going to see each other because you're leaving or whatever. So it's your opportunity to say what you feel like saying or not. You can simply say hi, you know. But it's um, it's a place for you to to have that opportunity. And then I have something to say at the end. Before we start that, I just a reminder: there are several people that have come up to me and like, can we take you home with us? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, <laughs> the answer to that is yes, within reason. <laughs> so, um, what I do when I'm not here at the tree is do this with people either individually or in small groups or at retreat centers or whatever. Okay, so that's kind of what I do. So, the next program here at the tree is until the end of January. So, from now until the end of January, I'm either going to be on my pool floating in the pool in California and drawing and doing art, or I'm going to be traveling around. Okay? And what that looks like configuration-wise and price-wise and structure is different depending upon the situation, the number of people, etc., etc. So it could be one person in their home for one day or ten days. It could be seven people in a retreat center, you know. It's whatever you might be interested in. So if you have questions, I'm not going anywhere probably until about 1.45 and then I have to get in my car and go to Tucson. So you can ask me questions afterwards, or if you took my card, you have my email address, so you can always email and ask questions about that. Or if you're stuck on a recipe or stuck on something, you can always email and ask, for, ask questions. Okay? So who wants to start as we go around the room? Who wants to start anywhere since we're a circle? Anybody have anything they want to say? No, like that. I would say that everybody's plate looks Amazing, hands down, and tasted incredible. Thank you for showing us that it's actually not so difficult. It's only up to our fantasy and what we like, and just try to experiment as much as we can to find our things, pre preferable things. Hopefully, we will share with you in the future, we will write you what we discovered. <laughs> Thank you. I really appreciate your common sense approach that if it's not life threatening, use something that may not be organic or kosher or whatever you want to call it. Um, I learned so much this week and I love the kitchen and I spend a lot of time. But I learned tons and tons and tons. And I'm very grateful to you. Thank you. Yeah, I love your sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> we made the whole week worthwhile, so I'm going to like a good week to just. Yeah, I thought you and Gabriel were really nice, not just far as two teachers, because Gabriel's one. But really complimenting yeah. each other, because Gabriel's super, super cerebral, you know, and the information is dense, and the vernacular around the topics is challenging sometimes, not the vernacular vocabulary. Then it was so great to, have to work with you two, really lively, off the cuff, and super intuitive in your teaching style, and yeah, just really honest. I mean, I, I appreciate your honest way of being, to and so much great information and easy to do things. And then everyone in the group, that was, that was so nice to meet all of you. What a bunch of gentle souls all mm -hmm. amalgamated into one place. That was great.
use what we learned, I thought it was actually a very good approach. I appreciate that you really didn't make it about the food. It was really about wellness and the life. And you know, the food was secondary and it really came through and certainly meant a lot to me. Yeah, I don't think you just made phase one very clear. Like you don't have to feel like phase one is a punishment. It's just yeah, you know, it's it's just the world should be over here and sometimes to you. Thank you for doing whatever you had to do to get here. Whether you had to take out a bank loan or sell your car or <laughs> save up for the last 15 years. Whatever it took. Whether you had to leave your dog at home or what are your husband, your wife, your kids. Whatever it took to get you here. Thank you. Thank you for taking care of yourself. Those of you that are did originally come here for a physical or physiological reason, and for those of you who didn't come here, you just were curious and you've heard about the tree of life and you wanted to know about raw food. Thank you for taking care of yourself. Because in taking care of yourself, you take care of all the rest of us. And by taking care of yourself, you are going to influence more people than you will ever know in your entire lifetime. So pretty soon there's going to be somebody out there in the world eating an amazing salad or drinking a glass of green juice or an amazing phase one smoothie or soup or isn't afraid of salads anymore or doesn't put the cheese on their salad anymore. And you will have never met them, but it will be because of the ripple effect of what you've done just by simply coming here. So maybe you're on the airplane in a couple days and so you're eating something and the person next to you sees you eating it, whatever it is. Maybe you have a conversation and maybe you don't. And that person will have taken whatever that information is just by observing you or having the conversation and that's going to ripple out to somebody else because they're going to go home and they're going, man, the person sitting next to me was eating avocados and some seaweed thing. Right? I wonder what they were doing. Or maybe they do some research. Or maybe three people later they find out about it. So it's phenomenal the power and influence you have on this planet. And I thank you for that, because I need you to have that power, because I need support. My brother-in-law needs support. My mom and dad need support. My family needs you. And you don't ever have to physically be in the same room with them, and chances are you probably won't be. But simply by taking care of yourself, and the more you take care of yourself, not just through your food, but everything else that you do, and bringing in that silence and presence within, is going to emanate out. Whether that is your goal or not, it's going to happen, and we need each other for that. So we may never physically cross paths again, but we're going to be crossing paths constantly. Okay? Does that make sense? So thank you for that. Thank you for doing whatever you had to do. And thank you for doing whatever you're going to do when you go for it. Because you are absolutely perfect in all of your imperfections. And that's going to come across. You've always been perfect in your imperfections. You're just at a place now, a little more so maybe than when you came here, to take those babies on and go, yeah, here I am in all my imperfections. And I am perfect. Even if I'm 100% vegan and raw and phase one here as I sit here in this room, and six months from now, I have a bite of french fries. I'm still perfect in my imperfections. So hold that and embrace it. You can't screw up when you leave here, as long as you're conscious. You can't fall off the wagon. It's not possible. You're not even in a wagon. Okay? You can't fail, because it's just life. So as long as each one of us stays present and works on that stillness and that, that awareness and mindfulness, you can't screw it up. You're on the road to enlightenment. We all are. And on that path to healing our bodies and all of those things, as long as we hold that mindfulness and tap back into that intuitive connection. So thank you. Enjoy the rest of your time here, whatever that means. 
Um, so those of you that are here for one more day or two more days or some of you are here for next week, um, take advantage as much as you can. There is a session this afternoon, the taking it home and the thing that didn't happen yesterday in the Dharma Center after lunch with Yehoshua and I'm not sure who else. Um, so if you want that information and you're interested, please take advantage of it. So thank you. Thank you.